this is the Path of Titans Urinosaurus, which is now in the game as of the official Pounce update releasing uh, when I'm recording this 24 minutes ago because it's a big update and it took me quite a while to update. That being said, this is the full overview and showcase of this creature, Urinosaurus. Obviously, the second official aquatic after Kaiwekia. And this one, I gotta say, is my favorite one so far. What a beautiful model. This thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much. It's so nice. It's, oh, I can't get over it. Anyways, let's showcase it off. This is the males, and this is the female. So the female is actually brighter, so to say. Like, the, the male is the dull one here. The female has some nice yellow hues on it, which is really nice. Let's showcase the subspecies. So firstly, you've got Katiki, which is plus 3% attack damage. Then you've got Communis, which is plus 5% armor. It looks like the uh, fin gets bigger, and the overall build just gets thicker. Uh, the snout gets smaller as well, whereas on the standard one, you've got that really long, derpy snout. This one's built like an actual normal Ichthyosaur. Like, you know, the likes of Ophthalmosaurus, Ichthyosaurus, all of them. And even though they're little tiny, they have this round up dune shape. Then you've got... Pelagicus, which has the tail of a fresher shark. That's the best way I can explain that one. And it's it's its fins and everything are a lot better. This one's plus 10% stamina recovery. A really long snout. But yeah, very nice model overall. The main difference is that really, really long tail. Anyways, let's showcase this thing off in-game. Okay, so this creature, Urinosaurus, has a handful of skins. You've got skin one, which is default skin right here. What a gorgeous looking skin. A very nice default skin. Got those tips on the fin as well. Kind of makes it look like a reef shark, so to say. Then you have the backer skin, which I gotta say, I love that. That's really nice. That's, yeah, that's, that's got some good patterns on it as well. Now I need to go back and just set everything to default really quickly. There we go. Then we have the saddlebag. Very nice with some subtle colorations of yellow uh, in the pattern right there, especially on the back end of the tail. That's pattern three. That's pattern two. And obviously uh, back to pattern one. Then we've got whip tail. Another very nice set of patterns. It's a very nice set of skins as well. The one thing, right, that you probably have noticed already is the baby skin. It's very bright and vibrant. You can see it behind me here, but we'll show that in a second. Then you have Tony. Very nice as well. Then you have Barracuda. I really love the patterns on this. Really nice. Um, and then you have Sohal. This, uh, you know what? This one's my favorite so far. Look at that just snout. The red, the blues, and then it just goes subdued along the rest of the body. It's really nice, really sort of oh, it's gorgeous. Then, of course, Zebra. Another beautiful skin right there. Speckled. Sunfish. Uh, this one's probably one of my favorites too. I guess you can change the colors and make it however you please. This is gorgeous. I love the color variations there. And then obviously you've got the albino and followed by the melanistic skin as well. And that is that for the skins. Now, of course, this is the baby model and the baby skin. Oh my god, it's so vibrant and so derpy looking. It looks like Pinocchio. You know, don't you dare tell me a lie. Your nose is going to get longer. But you've got some nice blues, oranges, yellows, reds, and all that jazz. This thing is a little sight to behold. And he's quick. It's not a slow poke, this guy. Oh, you know what? That looks really cool when it's just swimming up like that. I love the way it's like flippers tuck in. This thing's gorgeous. And it comes with a bite attack standard as a baby. We're going to get out the water really quickly so I can showcase the calls from up out of the water. It's easier to show them that way. So that is the baby call broadcast. Oh, I love that. Baby friendly. And the aggressive. They've gone above and beyond with these sounds, by the way. These are way better than Kai's. Kai's just sounds like it's gurgling on some... I don't even want to know. Like, when, you're, when your dad wakes up at 7 in the morning and you just hear him coughing his lungs out. That's what Kaiweki sounds like. And then you go back to the friendly. So, you don't really have that many emotes, but that's, you know, it is what it is. Now, let's go ahead, showcase the adult, showcase all these abilities off, and see what it's like, you know, if you go on land as well. So, I'll be back in two ticks. Kaiwekia is an interesting one because I was very, very wrong with my predictions. If I can put them on the screen, I will, but this thing's got a lot more than what we thought. So, you get your standard bite, which is a bite attack that causes bleed. Then you get Frash, which is an attack that causes heavy bleed damage. After that, you get your front limb, which is lunge. So, you don't have a sensibility, but lunge is now front limb instead of back limb, which is different to Kaiwekia. 
For metabolism, you get fisher, and that's the only one you can get. You can eat meat, fish, and moderate food drain there. And then for the hides, you've got streamlined, which increases swim speed and swim turning speed by 10%. Resilient scales, which increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. This one's really weird. Why and how does this geezer have pounce? I don't think this is meant to exist, right? Surely. Surely not. But it allows it to latch onto another creature, allowing you to perform attacks and other abilities release from the latching by jumping will automatically release when out of stamina. I I don't know if that's the case. Why the hell would this thing have it? And then you've got several tail abilities. You've got paddle tail, which increases swim speed and turn speed by 10%. Tail fan, which is a quick activation boost forward. And then you've got a tail attack, which is the first tail attack for a semi-aquatic or a full aquatic sorry in the game and then you get a voice ability the first voice ability i believe for a full aquatic this is chatter increases the speed of all ichthyosaurs in your group by two percent able to stack up to five times now let's showcase some of these off so here we are we have our beautiful beautiful urinosaurus it looks like you're not able to do chatter unless you're in a group so i can't actually showcase that one off you got your bite you got your, let's see if this is the lunge here. Yes, it is. It allows you to leap out the water, going fast as heck. That's really cool. But what is this pounce, right? This, I bet this will crash my game. I don't know. Why does this thing has pounce? And then obviously you get a tail attack as well. I'm perplexed. Why, how and why does this have pounce? So there's the tail attack. Very good, very nice. Now let's showcase the other stuff as well because there are some abilities that I've missed. You know what? I'm really sad I can't showcase chatter, but yeah, it's a group ability at that, so do bear that in mind. Of course, this is the thrash attack. So it's literally you just thrashing your head. You're poking people to death pretty much. And then, of course, finally, you've got uh, this one, which is the... Like, kind of like a power roll. No, it's the quick lunge forward. Okay, so uh, this one is just a quick dart forward to kind of evade stuff. The other one, which is this one, if you hit anything, uh, you will uh, deal damage to them. So, yeah, that's the difference is there. Uh, this one is a quick lunge forward. You can't really leap out the water with it. The other one, you can, um, and it can deal damage to people. So, really quickly, though, I want to see what this thing is like on land. But first... Uh, let me just adjust this weather. I also want to showcase the coals as an adult above water as well. I love this thing. I love it. It's so good. I love them coals. I, 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 it's just so nice. How cool. Okay, so those are the sands. Now, can this thing go on land or is it now bound to be in water forever? Because obviously it doesn't have like strong flippers or anything to allow it to go back on land. But this is what it's like on land. It is literally like a shark out of water. This is... Look at the way it's... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I'm, cu I'm really curious now. What happens if I leap out the water and land on land? Will I die instantly? This will be the final thing we get to see before we wrap things up. But oh my god. This is a beautiful model beautiful creature a lot more attack variation than i thought it would get as well um, which is really really nice to see so developers have done a good job here and here we go you know what i think that was the highest i could probably jump with that but you could probably jump a little bit higher and cause a bit more damage to yourself uh, this thing the water drain out of water doesn't seem that bad and Honestly, you could probably survive on the water for quite a bit. Oh, out of water, sorry, for quite a bit compared to that of Kaiwekia, which struggles a lot out of water. Um, but yeah, that is Urinosaurus. Oh my god. I love it. What a beautiful model. What a beautiful creature. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, the next video I'll see you in will be the full update overview. I'm currently working on it. Um, it will include some clips from before the update when we we're doing tests of like pounce and grab, mainly because I was working on it before the update came out. But this will be the stopgap until then. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about Urinosaurus in the comments down below. Why the hell it has pounce? I don't know. Someone educate me on if it works. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.